All right, so you're thinking about buying the five foot, one ten ton, single phase fabricator press brake. So this video will give you a little bit of a quick walk around here on it, and then we'll uh, show you uh, show you what can, what it can do in action. So this one is uh, is a two axis machine. So you have the back gauge goes in and out, and you have the ram uh, goes up and down. So you have X and Y axis. This one has the ESA S630 controller. It has a graphical interface on it where you can uh, draw things out, you know, your part graphically. Uh, I will just say that the graphic feature part of it is kind of limited and kind of basic, you know, compared to some of our other machines with a precision series, but it's still pretty decent, um, you know, especially for something uh, in, you know, uh, in this price range. So at the time I'm making this video, this is 36,000. Uh, you know, check the website for the most current price. And um, you know, this is a machine that we, we will be stocking. And so when you're looking at this, uh, we should be at a point where we have these in stock all the time. So this machine, people are gonna ask, and you're gonna see it in the video. Um, it, it comes standard with this mini gooseneck segmented mini gooseneck punch set. You got the quick release uh, tooling holders and you have a four way die. So this tooling, just like it is, can bend quarter inch at full width at its, at its max. And then it's also gonna come with a pallet of tooling to give you a four inch die and a heavy duty punch set, full width segmented. And that will allow you to bend also three eighths at full width and then half inch at about three feet or so. So very, very robust machine. And, uh, you know, I think you'll like it. So, um, the power, like I mentioned, it's, it's a single phase 220. And right here's our, our input coming into the machine. See the three leads coming in there, your ground and two hot legs. And this is an industrial machine. It doesn't have a power cord. So you're going to need to make up your own your own power cord. You can get the stuff to do it at Home Depot or, you know, electrical supply house. And in the video, we got details, you know, showing you that in, uh, in our training startup videos. But uh, right now we have this connected to a 50 amp welder plug. So if you got welder plugs in your shop, that'll work perfect for this, or you can run a new one for it. But around 40, 50 amps is what this machine is going to use. Single phase 220 to 240. And a lot of people ask, you know, that have two oh the split phase 208, 120, and pull two of the 120 legs to do that. Yes, it will it will do that as well. So check it out. Let's take a look at it in action, bending bending up some parts here. <laughs> 